you ever have a voice in your head? You're an atheist, right? He goes, yes, I'm an atheist. I say, do you ever have a voice in your head that just says, there is a God, there is a God, there is a God. But you know there's no God. But that little voice, you can't stop. It's, I said, it's like a parasite eating away at your brain. It's like this parasite. And you just can't stop it. And, and it, it told you to come up and talk to me. There might be a God. Talk to that guy. Maybe there is a God. You ever have a voice in your head that you know is wrong? It keeps telling you there's a God. He goes, yes, it's like a parasite in my head. I said, that's God. <laughs> see, see, whether you like it or not, God is that parasite in your brain <laughs> that will never let you believe that being human is less. He will never allow you to accept our inhumanity. He'll never allow you to settle for who you were not created to be. See, I've learned how to listen to the voice of God. It's the voice that always tells me more. It tells me I can be more heroic. I can be more compassionate. I can be more kind. I can be more loving. It's that voice that calls me to my highest humanity. It's that voice that calls me to the future invisible and gives me a picture of a person I can become and a life I can live and a world I can create. It is time for us to take the Bible back from those who turned it into a manuscript of conformity and reclaim it as our manifesto of creativity. It is time to change the reputation of the church from being the epicenter of shame and guilt holding on to the past, fearing the future, to being the epicenter of the future that God is creating because only those of us who invite him into our imagination will see a future that only God can usher in. Maybe we're here in time and history because we are the instruments of God to create the future only he has in mind.